what the heck is up guys it's Jacob here and um, this is gonna be a quick video on um, my older uh, racks I actually a lot of you guys don't know that I actually had a, a YouTube channel way back in the day that I did have a bunch of videos on and I actually for a while kind of just left YouTube I kind of just nuked my channel and ditched it um, not really sure why I just kind of got sick of making YouTube videos and then I remade started making them again so here we are again anyways um so I did make a video of my old rack way back in the day when it was actually in a like a shelf like a dresser and I pulled the drawers out and put my servers in there so this is when I was first getting started with servers just want to kind of give you guys this intro so you guys aren't going what the hell he went from a server rack to a dresser no this is a really old video from my old YouTube channel but a few people were interested in seeing it so I thought I'd post it so here you guys go so anyways I'm gonna give you an, uh, an update of, of what we have going on here I have a lot of the the servers running or I have a lot of stuff going on now since my last video where I just told you what my plans were for the servers so um, basically down here we have two power edge 1750s uh, and they are running uh, one of them is running right now let's see if I can get a little bit of light here there we go one of them is running the bottom one and it's just running email servers and web servers um, testing the robotics website like I said I was gonna do and then the middle one is again a 1750 and it's not running right now there's no hard drives in it yet um, and the top one is a SC1425 it's a Dell PowerEdge SC1425 and it just runs uh, SATA hard drives so uh, it's gonna be a file server because it holds a lot bigger hard drives the uh, bottom one has got the hard drives running in RAID 1, so they are each 36 gig hard drives. They don't need to be that big, they're just holding emails and uh, just web pages, so nothing that big. They are faster hard drives though, 15,000 RPM. So they do need to be fast, but they're not holding a lot of data, so they're just 36 gig hard drives. Again, the middle one has no hard drives. I'm probably going to put 300 gigabyte SCSIs in there, and they're going to be in RAID 5. I'm probably going to have three of them. And the top one's just got a 750 gig hard drive. I'm going to get two, uh, two, two terabyte hard drives, and I'm going to put those in RAID 1. So it's going to be two terabyte storage in RAID 1 at the top. And I have plans to get one more server. going to be a Dell. Uh, I want to get a PowerVolt with um, SATA hard drives so I can... Um, have a lot more storage, several terabytes, and then uh, we just have over here. That's going to be that. That's the modem coming in, um, and then it just runs through the uh, Netgear router, and we're using that as a firewall right now because uh, I got to get a firewall. So that's what I'm using for my firewall, and that just goes into the uh, switch up here. And the switch uh, for now is just connected to all the ports on the servers. Each server has two ports and basically uh, I'm going to have fiber optics coming in here soon. I ordered all that stuff so we have fiber optics coming in so there, that's what a lot of the blank ports are for so we can add the fiber optic uh, switches. Those are going to take up a lot of the ports. Go ahead and give you a peek at the back. It's kind of uh, ugly right now. Um, so basically, just a um, little uh, KVM switch here so we can switch between the servers. And uh, we just have the VGAs running into that and the USBs. We have a USB from each server. Um, then on the back we have, of course, uh, two Ethernet ports per server. Uh, the uh, SC1425 server doesn't have a backup power supply, so it's just got single power supply. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and the little thing I rigged up here. Uh, I took a, uh, an old, uh, server power supply right here. Just a little server power supply. And I, uh, what I did was, uh, hot-wired it so that it'll just put out 12 volts. And it's got a little, uh, tap on the top so I can run all my wires. And what I did was anything that was running 12 volts at the front here any of uh, like the hard drive right there that hard drive that router and that router and the modem all pull 12 volts so I'm just running them off that power supply that way I don't have to have like you know five six wall warts that 
take up the room on a power strip. So you just have one power supply that runs everything and it's it's much better, just cleaner and keeps things a little bit more simple. That hard drive right there is actually a network storage. It's a USB hard drive. It's two terabytes of storage and it just is plugged into the um, router through the Netgear Ready Share, so it just puts it on the network. Um, just a quick rundown uh, on on the bottom server. Basically, what's running is uh, they're all running Windows Server 2008. Um, the bottom one is 32 bits, and the the middle one doesn't have an OS, of course, because there's no hard drives. And the top one is running 64 bits. So the bottom one has on it right now. It's running an HMail server. Um, it's running IMAP servers and POP3 servers for incoming mail. And so I just have a couple of email accounts on there and storage for that. And then I have also the Windows SMTP server running for outgoing mail. And that works wonders. Um, just ports. So this has ports uh, 587 and 25 forwarded for outgoing mail through the SMTP server. And 143 and 110 on the incoming server for the mail so and I just have that hooked up that account hooked up through my iPhone uh, the mail set up and that that worked out pretty well um, also it's running of course like I said the ro we're testing the robotics website on that bottom server here uh, so it's gonna be hopefully up and completed soon uh, it's running on WAMP server we were running it on HFS before but um, we had to put a PHP script in there, so the PHP script had to run on WAMP server. Uh, username uh, Able12 on YouTube here helped me with the uh, PHP on it. I gotta give him credit for that. He helped me get the PHP running for the website to uh, to get the uh, email form working on the website. So we had to run WAMP server on this one now and I'll give you guys a, an in-depth look when I have the time this is just a quick five minute you know oh, this is actually seven minutes time flies um, it, it's just a quick uh, little video showing you what we have set up right now but I'm gonna go in depth sooner uh, not too long from now showing you everything that we're how we have it all set up uh, like how exactly all the software I'm running and how I have it set up and I'll show you how to set up a mail server if you want or whatever it's not too hard and uh, so yeah that's pretty much it I'll give you guys another update when I get the uh, fiber optics coming in uh, and that's what all these little uh, cables are for you see this is a <laughs> fancy rack here it's a uh, shelf with the drawers taken out of it so um, that's what these hooks are for. The uh, cables just go up and loop through there uh, and feed into the switch right here. And this is all going to be fiber optics for, from this switch to the top. So um, those are just going to be transition network fiber optics, which is just uh, 100 megabit stuff, nothing too fancy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or comments or whatever about this, uh, you guys can feel free to hit me up with an email or a uh, comment in the video below. And It's a pretty boring video, I know. I'm just basically showing you what's up. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, love to hear you guys' feedback, and uh, have a good one.